So I'm going to start this video off with a little cliffhanger. So now I am a mom of two. I did not know I was pregnant until I was, I think, five and a half or six and a half months pregnant. Had no idea. I went in for a biopsy because I thought I was having stomach issues. Like I have IBS. So if you guys know what that is, it's where like you have certain food allergies. Eh, not food allergies, but like you have certain irritations to certain foods. So like for me, pasta and marinara sauce was huge. I've always been lactose intolerant for, well, I can't say always. I've been lactose intolerant for a few years now. And um, I just couldn't eat certain foods without feeling like I would get really bloated or talking about bathroom talk, I would have one or the other. So I would have it like extremely loose stool or I just couldn't go at all. And for me, that's always been normal for my whole life. So I didn't see anything wrong with it. However, in the past few months, I noticed that it was getting worse. So I was like, okay, so maybe I should just go get seen because I literally could not go to the bathroom. And so you're probably wondering, why is she talking about this? Like, what the heck? So anyways, um, I go in for a biopsy because I thought, they had thought that maybe I had a tumor or some type of cancer. And so they just wanted to double check. It wasn't that before they could 100% say it was IBS. And so I was, okay. Um, and so I go into that appointment and I am, you know, a little scared and nervous and whatever. And then... Um, they were like, oh, you got to pee in this cup and, you know, we just got to do this. It's always routine. So I'm like, okay, definitely not a big deal. Um, there's no way I could be pregnant or whatever. And so they stopped me and, um, they're like, well, we can't, we can't perform this biopsy because you are pregnant. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. And so they, um, I said, well, maybe you just need to take another one. And so I took another one and yeah, that other one said I was pregnant too. So they referred me to a place to just make sure. And I got an ultrasound. Little did I know, I had to go to a different place for the ultrasound and they get me hooked up and whatever and they put the jelly on my stomach. And yeah, they said, oh honey, you're farther along than you think you are. And I said, what are you talking about? Like how far along am I? And they're like, um, I don't know, but here's her head, here's her heartbeat. And I'm like, what the hell? So, um, yeah, that was really exciting. And then I remember coming back and telling my partner and that person thought like I was gonna give him some really bad news. and. You know, it's kind of funny because I told my partner, you know, like it takes two to tangle. And when you're doing that, you kind of know the risks. But anyways, I had said months ago, I was like, well, if anything ever were to happen, I'd be okay because you're really chill and you're really calm. And even if we don't work out, like, I think you'd be a really cool co-parent. And he was like, oh yeah, like same with you, blah, blah. You're super chill, blah, blah. And I don't know if you guys believe in manifesting or anything like that, but I do. And so a few months before I found out I was pregnant too, I had talked to my daughter and I had said something in the car saying like, Kylie, do you ever think about um, like you ever having a sister or a brother? And she's like, yeah, I, th I think about it sometimes, but like, you know, it's never going to happen. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I, I was just asking. So I just think it's kind of funny because I feel like we kind of put that energy out into the air and then it happened. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I am now a mom of two. We had a little baby shower and I don't know, it's just super cute and I literally went into delivery and I was induced. I induced myself so that I could have her. And um, my daughter had a hard time accepting it at first because, you know, she's my world and she's used to just my attention. And then eventually we got our first ultrasound, even though it was like when I was six and a half weeks or six and a half months along already. Can you imagine seeing your first or your baby the first time and getting into your first appointment when you're that far along? It was just wild. But, anyways, yeah, so like my daughter had a hard time figuring that out and what she felt and it was kind of like a roller coaster of emotions and I remember telling my mom and my sister and they were super excited and yeah, it's just super cool and um, yeah, my daughter's name's Evelyn. Now she's six weeks old. She's such a ham. Just I'm not gonna bring her on camera now, but I'm at my studio right now, so she's not with me. Her little pack and plays right there. Um, but yeah, and then also half of the reason I was making this video too is because the last video I posted I had said something about I gained weight and I was like, I don't know why and eventually I'll lose it. But yeah, like now I have lost, I've lost like 30 pounds. So you can see my dimple here. This one's more predominant and the other one's there. So yeah, that was the other half of this update and um, yeah. So that's kind of my life update. I absolutely love it. Kylie has definitely come around and now cuddles with her little sister. And um, yeah, honestly, like if you don't believe in manifesting, really look into it because 
I always blinked, blinked in it. And there's been certain times where like I've asked the universe to put something in there and like I you know, an example is like allow me to make enough money or a lot of money in this few weeks and then like give me the ability to travel. And then I travel to Canada and travel to New York and Mexico and all of that. So yeah. And I know at one point when I was manifesting, I manifested a relationship that was healthy and that one where I could be myself and one that would accept my daughter and um, and everything else. And so now to think like what a whole difference a year can make for like just you manifesting. I'm with a partner that like, for an example, if he sees that I'm in the shower and I'm coming out and I don't have like a warm towel, he will like run to go get me a nice warm towel. Or if I wake up, he's like bringing me hot chocolate or making my coffee the certain way I like it and it just really goes to show like what you allow in your life or what you allow to stay in your life really has a lot to do with you and like where you are mentally and if you're not ready to let go to get better it's just gonna stay the same way so I let go of a lot of the people in a lot of situations that didn't make me happy and you know made me question a lot of things and then it's brought me to this individual which I'm super grateful for and I've also learned to be super private about my life now and I guess I can't really say that because I'm you know sharing it a little bit with you guys um, however I have not really shown pictures of my partner I'm not really sure I will um, and honestly I actually enjoy the privacy that I've given myself in my new family and um, yeah yeah that's my life update <laughs> so yeah bye